This video introduces an ultra-fast optical imaging technique, time-stretch microscopy, developed in Jalali Lab at UCLA. It offers frame rate at least a thousand times faster than those of conventional CCDs. With this high speed, time-stretch microscopy can serve as an ultra-high throughput imaging flow cytometer for cell classifications in phenotypic screening, clinical diagnosis, and biomedical applications. This work is supported by Nantworks. The published paper and code can be downloaded from the link below. There are many applications in medicine that require detection of rare cells in blood. The best known example is circulating tumor cells, or CTCs. These are epithelial cells that break off from the primary tumor and spread to other parts of body via the bloodstream and lead to the spread of cancer, known as metastasis. Detection and isolation of these cells enables early diagnostics and liquid biopsy, which is an invasive procedure for capturing cancer cells using a simple blood test. There are other similar applications, such as detection of fetal cells, stem cells, and T cells. Real cell detection in blood and liquid biopsy opens up new paths to data-driven phenotypic diagnosis and a better understanding of the heterogeneous J-expression in cells. Acquisition of sufficient statistics for analysis is difficult by their intrinsic rarity, so the measurement technique must be high throughput to collect extremely large volumes of data. Flow cytometer is a powerful tool for large-scale cell analysis due to its ability to measure anisotropic elastic light scattering of millions of individual cells, as well as the emission of fluorescent labels conjugated to cells. However, each cell is represented with single value per detection channel, and most of the time it requires labeling with specific biomarkers for acceptable classification accuracy. Imaging flow cytometry on the other hand, it captures images of cells, revealing significantly more information about the cells. For example, it can distinguish clusters and debris that would otherwise result in false positive identification in a conventional flow cytometry based on light scattering. Since it reveals more about physical features, label-free cell classification with high accuracy could be possible and that will greatly benefit downstream analysis. The fundamental problem in performing high-speed imaging is that cameras become less and less sensitive at higher and higher speed. It's simple to see why. At the high frame rates, there is less time to collect the photons in each frame before the signal becomes weaker and more prone to noise. Time stretch imager overcomes this because it's the first imager that features optical image amplification. The time stretch microscopy enables continuous real-time imaging at a frame rate of more than 27 MHz and a shutter speed less than 50 picoseconds. It fills in the technical gap between the automated microscopy and high-throughput flow cytometer.